Okay, this is gonna be so weird. Okay, I really hope my camera. I'm sitting on my bed. This is, ooh, it's shaky, shaky. Hello, hey YouTube, what is up? It is Michaela. This is, this feels weird not doing what I always do. I'm doing my long awaited, this is really past its, <laughs> its due, due date. Did I wear these again? I don't know. No. I don't know, I guess I'll just, I'll just be makey face, kind of, except brows and lip. Because <laughs> that's what normal people do, right? So anyhow, this is my long awaited Halloween haul. I did this two years ago, <laughs> or last year, two years, two years ago, because I worked at Spirit Halloween again this season, and when I do that, I get a discount. So I like to buy things for myself. I'm just here to talk about the things that I bought from Spirit Halloween. Some of these are uh, things I got before the season was over. I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna do what's in front of me and I'm hoping everything is in these bags and my battery's blinking already. Awesome. First things up is this big boy. Um, yes, same as two years ago, I bought myself another onesie that was on our clearance rack and I remember when I worked two years ago, we had this actually like for sale full price. So I hid this <laughs> behind some stuff in hopes that after the season I could get it hella cheap. And I did, because this was already marked down in 1998. I have the Finn onesie, <laughs> now I have the Jake onesie. I just don't have friends that would wear it together with me. Oh, another thing I got is this set that I'm wearing actually right now. It is a choker that has a little smiley face and then these yin yang symbol earrings. Um, it was in the like 90s section. I just thought it was really cute. I mainly liked the earrings, but I don't know, together, it's, it is what it is. Along with that, I got another set from a different store, because I forgot to get it at our store, but they had it by like all the alien stuff. It's a uh, green tattoo choker with an alien head charm, and the earrings are the alien heads as well, and I thought they were super duper cute, and I love chokers. I have a problem. 90s child problem. I also got a set of the, um, vampire fangs because they're normally really expensive so I figured why not get a, a pair for next year or cosplay or I don't I don't know I don't cosplay but if I ever wanted to try I guess I could well this is the one I got two years ago I got a Daryl Dixon Funko Pop keychain guy two years ago I left it in the box because I didn't know what to do with him he's just too cute so this year I got Rick Grimes and then I also got um well I didn't get it Darren picked it out um uh, bleh, what's his name? Freddy Krueger. <laughs> so, and they're just, they're cute little like keychains. Um, I have also this Gudetama one um, I got from Hot Topic, but that's not in a, whatever. So along with that, I also got a, because you know Walking Dead's back on and I'm just like, <sighs> barrel of my life. R.I.P. Glenn. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I got this vehicle decal because I have my own vehicle now and I already have an owl magnet and a sugar skull magnet I actually got from there. That should be in this haul, but it's on my car. So I got another um, thing to possibly put on my window. It's Daryl. Or I might put it on like something else. I don't know. It's just a sticker, but you know. And then I got some buttons because they always have a, a box of buttons when you check out. So I got an Aaron Yeager one, a little chibi, chibi um, Attack on Titan. I got a muck, a muck, a muck from Hocus Pocus. Um, this is Sugar Skull, which is actually the same Sugar Skull. This is what's on the back of my car as a magnet form. And then the only other Sailor Moon item besides socks and a lanyard that our store had was this Sailor Venus pen, which she's adorable. I love me some Sailor Moon. Oh, the other things that I got. I forgot, they're behind me. Um, these little guys, because I love owls and everything, um, we had these at the thing you go through to get to the checkout, and I have a green one also. So I bought one of every color because it also matches my bedspread in my room and they light up and I think they're cute and yeah, <laughs> that's that. Well, you've probably seen it before, but my Bob's Burgers hat on um, the ball cap, I bought that from Spirit. I got this cute infinity scarf that's a spider web print. You can't really tell. Oh, it still smells. I have a story to talk about that, um, why as to it smells like mildew, um, but it's just like a black scarf with silver spider webs on it, which I can't, 
I could probably still get away with wearing now, but it might be a little odd. I don't know. And then I got these adorable Nightmare Before Christmas iron-on patches. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put them on exactly. Are they iron? They are iron-on. I was thinking like a denim jacket or even a bag. Or I don't I don't know, so I just got them because I thought they were really cute. Especially this little Sally part. And then the last thing that's in this bag, right? Yeah. <laughs> is from the 90s um, section in our store also they had this fanny pack and it was the only one and I can't believe no one bought it but um, I've always wanted to, I've had fanny packs in the past but because um, I'm a bigger kid now not an actual child uh, they don't fit around my waist anymore like I had a Barbie one in elementary school that would you know you go on a field trip you could keep your snacks and your money if you could buy souvenirs in I like distinctly remember that going to this museum and wearing my Barbie fanny pack. So they had this awesome, very 90s print era, um, vaporwave-ish uh, fanny pack that's actually like pretty good quality. So I got it after the season was over so it would be on sale and I just was so surprised no one else got it. But this has like a ginormous adjustable strap, where is it? So it's like... <laughs> It'll fit me this time. But mainly why I bought this was for like, these are just so handy for honestly going to like concerts and shows because I get so tired of wearing my like satchel and I have like smaller purses but sometimes like why not just do this instead? I don't know. So I got this. That was a really long unnecessary story about why I got it but it's cute so I got it. I think that is everything. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I feel like I'm missing something, but maybe I'm not. I don't know, it's just I bought things for other people, or like, I bought fake blood, and I bought makeup -y stuff, things that, you know, aren't really like, stuff stuff. Does that make any sense? I figured I would do it again like I did two years ago, um, and I still have this up. It's November, and I still have all my Halloween decor up. What does that tell you? I don't want to let it go. It went by too fast. But I guess I can tell you a smidge bit of... You know, I love working there. It's fun. It's a fun environment. You're literally just selling like Halloween stuff and costumes and I like Halloween stuff and costumes. <laughs> so, and I actually this year I dressed up the last like four days before Halloween. Like that Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday I dressed up every day to work because I'm like, I can take advantage of this because I work at a Halloween store so I'm going to dress up as much as I can until Halloween's over. I did that and I really, really wanted to film all the looks for you but I just didn't have time because I was like doing them before I had to go to work so I was on a time crunch, you know, it was just kind of like a sporadic idea and, but I will insert photos um, and I really, really liked them. So our store, the, what I mentioned that this still smells like mildew. Sadly, the store that I worked in was like this really old, previously it was an old appliance store and already the building had that like musty old smell and then at some point um, during the season like there was this week where it just rained hardcore like non-stop and the back behind the store where we like store things flooded and there was just a giant wet spot on the carpet that was just wet for like a week, a week plus. Um, and actually, in a vlog that I'm gonna probably hopefully upload before this or something that I took in the midst of October, um, I talked about how I got sick and I'm pretty sure that's being in that musty, smildewy building is probably also the cause of why I got sick. So, just thought I'd mention that since I said that this smells like mildew, which is true. The one bag I got of stuff from not my store does not smell, because that store doesn't smell, but the, like, you, I know which bag is which. Like, the other bag, it still smells like mildew. And, like, my onesie smells very bad. <laughs> so I have to wash this before, obviously, I would wear it anyways, but extra wash it, maybe, in case it still stinks. But it's just the cutest little thing. I'm so excited to lounge around in it all winter, because I now have like four onesies. <laughs> I'm an adult, I swear. Um, anyhow, that is it for this video. I'm pretty sure that's all I really had to show and talk about. If you like this video and want to see more hauls from me in the future, please give it a big thumbs up. That'll help me know I will do other, not just strictly, you know, Halloween hauls, but I've done one other haul in the past and I think they're really fun. I think with um, Christmas season coming up, I will be sure to try and do them maybe after Christmas so I don't give away like what I got for people. 
And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to become notified of whenever I upload a video. And that is all. I hope you believe in day whenever you're watching this with your beautiful eyeballs, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh, so far.